Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be testing if you can incubate your own store-bought quail eggs to see if you can hatch your own birds. It's super small. So on the inside, you have a little egg tray and a thermometer. Also, there's a little channel here to put your water for your humidity. On the outside, there's temperature control, but no humidity control. Let's plug it in to see if it'll work. So as you can see, you can change the temperature up and down. It's kind of like a mini microwave for bird eggs. Well, let's go to the shop to get some eggs. range quail legs I could find and also I've preset my temperature to 38 degrees and added in water for humidity so now it's ready for incubating I'm going to choose four different random eggs and I'm going to put them in the incubator for 20 days and take a picture every single day you also have to put them in the pointy side downwards and rotate them twice a day I hope I still get some quails and I'll make a follow-up video later that's it for now like subscribe bye five now and I've got seven eggs and I've candled them. Out of the seven eggs, five eggs may be viable but unfortunately two of the eggs are completely sterile and empty. See the fetus is that red dot here it's just moving around inside the egg. On the five eggs you can see it they're slowly growing inside. It's day ten now. The embryo should start looking like a chip. I've counted on my eggs and it seems a few of them are growing. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope we get some hatchlings. It's day 17 now and the chicks should start being fully formed. I'm no longer going to open the lid now since opening the lid will give it temperature shock and temperature shock will decrease the hatch rate success. I'm going to count on eggs one last time now and if it's completely opaque apart from the air gaps it's a good egg. I'm going to throw all the bad eggs out leaving the good eggs in some space while it hatches. eggs and see what's inside and hopefully it doesn't smell really bad otherwise we're gonna have to throw away our chopping board. These are like these are the safe ones. Um weirdly enough still kind of liquidy. This is such a thick membrane though. Eggshell sack. Sacky. Should I pierce the sack? Yeah that's fair gently. Uh, there's something brown in it. Let me just peel it open like a, like a hard boiled egg. Oh no. Right. I can't cut it, it's so like thick. Do you think I roll that around enough? I'll just have an egg sack. See look, this is why you need to make sure it stay hydrated, otherwise how is a chick supposed to escape out of this plastic bag? Luckily enough it's dead otherwise, imagine how scared the egg would be. Okay, how am I going to pierce the egg? Gently. Whose phone is that? Oh, uh, egg 
big sack. I can't pierce it. It's so strong. Ugh, I did pierce it. Ugh. This one isn't even that bad. Ugh. It's a gelatinous yolk. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no, it's skirting everywhere. Okay. Well, I'm hoping this one's the same. Probably gonna smell so bad. <laughs> it smells so weird. It's not like as bad as I thought it would be, but it has like a yeah, like a like a mouldy cheese spell, and I can't seem to open this one. But this one seems to be clear, so can I just stop this? Just crack it against the wall. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna stomach. Yeah, not much in here. I'm hoping these three eggs will hatch in the next three to four days. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to see in the upcoming video about will the eggs hatch. Thanks for watching. Bye.